Today we will use Nero Audio as a clinical um, audiometer. Actually, Nero Audio allows us to perform pure tone audiology using different types of stimulators. For example, for air conduction study, we can use headphones or insert earphones. Insert earphones has some advantages. For example, uh, it can prevent collapse of uh, outer ear canal and reduce the environmental sound intensity on 30 decibels. So the um, bone conduction study, we can use a bone vibrator stimulator. Today we will use headphones. Uh, firstly, we connect it to our amplifier and uh, we gave a special um, patient's button to the patient to check uh, then the patient uh, gives the response on the stimulus. Actually, always you uh, need to perform this test in soundproof room. Now we can put the headphones and uh, start to work in neuroaudio.net program. Our patient will give the response pushing any button on the um, patient's button, uh, then he uh, will hear a sound. We are in the main window now for this test. In the higher panel you can see a lot of parameters to manage uh, the stimulation process, the starting intensity here. By default is 30 decibels, you can increase or decrease here or using the keyboard. Here you can start, uh, you can see the starting frequency of stimulation, you can choose the necessary, by default it's 1000 Hz. Here you can see the side of stimulation, by default start with right, you can change it. Here you can see the tone response panel. You can deliver a tone by pressing space button. You can enter the patient response using this button or the patient can use the patient button specially. Also, we can uh, make the auto algorithm of stimulation. Let's see. Here in the settings you can see the manual test parameters. For example, you can fix or not tone length and change its duration here. Also you can see the auto test. We use Huxon West Lake algorithm. Also tone length in second. Start level 30 decibels. You can change the random interval of delivering the stimulus here. And here you can see all the frequencies that will be performed during the test. You can switch off or add something. The higher frequencies you can add also if you have a special headphones. Now check uh, the using a stimulator. We use headphones. And let's start. Tone response decrease. Tone response decrease. Tone response decrease. Tone no response. Let's increase. Tone response decrease again. Tone no response increase again. Tone response two responses in this point is a treasure. Now let's go here, decrease tone response, decrease tone response, decrease tone response, decrease tone, no response, increase a little, no response, again, yes, two answers in this point, let's check. The free, okay. Let's go and get the audiogram. They are finishing. 
yes we get the audiogram for right ear on the air conduction here we can see the averaging treasures for speech frequencies let's check the auto for left ear deliver a tone response decrease response decrease no response increase response decrease no response no response response two answers in this point let's continue response tone response decrease no response increase response decrease no response no response here response again is it read and continue tone response decrease tone response decrease response decrease no response let's increase it's all made automatically i only comment it so we get a response of 500 in this point okay automatic test finished now we can see here the average for right and left ear it is normal in some cases we need to use bone vibrator stimulator put it on the head choose the side and repeat all the procedure manually or automatically tone response tone response here we have no response increase no response increase response and so on okay we get the bone conduction treasures we see the normal picture but in some cases we can get pictures for example like this and we see uh, a big difference uh, between air and bone conduction it can be for example uh, in the middle ear problems